Welcome to episode number 202 of the TW Twitchway Challenge Run. This is going to be Friday Night Smackdown for week one of December 2021 and the road to the first ever WWE Absolute Zero pay-per-view. Quite a fitting name for a December pay-per-view. Just going to be cold as balls out here on this show. And yeah, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the show. The Tribal Chief is out first, and he does his big long entrance after he won at Survivor Series, and that wasn't the end of his night, obviously, but <laughs> that's going to be a little elephant in the room. <laughs> and he's like, well, why would I tell y'all? You told me that Finn Balor was the greatest wrestler of the ball champions. I smashed him. You told me this guy, Ronnie, Ronnie Hughes was the next up-and-coming top WWE star, and he could still be, but I smashed him too. And everyone learned to listen that nobody, no matter who you are, no matter what your status, nobody messes with the Tribal Chief. And now we move on to the next, next forward, who is next in line to get smashed by the Tribal Chief in th four weeks at Absolute Zero. Well, I think I'll leave that up to y'all because I'll beat whoever you put in front of me. It doesn't matter to me. Then Buddy Murphy interrupts. He's like, listen here, mate. I know that I had the opportunity to beat you a couple of weeks ago and I came up short. But one more chance for me against the Juggernaut and I've got what it takes to put the Tribal Chief down. And Reigns is like, huh. You make me you make you make me laugh, kid. Come on. I've already smashed you. Who's next? Who else wants a piece of me? And then Gargano comes out. It's like buddy, 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 listen. I fucking did it. <laughs> Ever since fucking Um Eric Silver commented about my promos having like a guy come out and they say the person's name for like three times. I noticed in editing I did it on Raw a lot as well. I think Tony came out and was like Becky, Becky, Becky. <laughs> and I just did it just now like I, I've become self aware of it but it still just happens I'm sorry but you're now living rent free in my head <laughs> Johnny's like buddy listen I'm all for you getting another shot and like I said I'd be in your corner but do you not think it's time for Johnny freaking wrestling to get his shot of the world title obviously big pop and Roman just scoffs he's like you you're the size of my leg, you little boy. I'll beat your... I'll smash you too. Randy Orton's music gets. He's like, listen, listen, listen. This... This is all pointless chatter because... It's obvious who's next in line to be the world... Or the next in line for the WWE Championship. And it's not either of you two. It's me. It's Mr. Survivor Series, again. Who came out trumps. Sir Pierce, if you're listening, saved your goddamn job. By winning that match. Last Saturday... Or last Sunday. And the least you could do is give me an opportunity to wrestle Roman Reigns at Absolute Zero because I feel like I've earned it. Thanks for the million dollars, by the way. You're welcome. And Kevin Owens then comes out like, well, three's a, three's a crowd. Why not make it four? I've won a shot of the Tribal Chief too because, well, I feel like I deserve one. But... <laughs> Let's be honest, I don't have a real reason, but neither does Buddy Murphy and neither does Johnny Gargano. Randy, uh, I'll give you it. You were impressive at Survivor Series. 
And <laughs> yeah, but if these people don't have reasons, I also throw my head in the ring. I want a shot of the Derby Championship. And Roman's like, boy, sit your ass down. You're not just going to come out here and demand shots of the Tribal Chief. You've got to earn it. And then Pierce comes out. He's like, you know, Roman, that's a good point. You do have to earn shots around here. And how about we have Murphy versus Gargano versus Randy versus Kevin right now in a fatal four way to determine your next challenger. Does that sound good to everybody? And Roman's like, only good to the free losers because whoever wins is next to fall in line. And then he walks out and we get the Fatal 4-Way match to determine the next challenger. Gets an 84. Apparently Kevin Owens is a bit stale. Donnie Gargano wins. He defeats Randy Orton, Buddy Murphy, Kevin Owens in a Fatal 4-Way. He pins Gargano, pins Buddy Murphy with the Hurts Donut. Johnny actually scores the least, but that's because he's the coolest and like hasn't got the most popularity out of these four. Randy gets an 82, an 86 for Buddy, and an 83 for Kevin. And Gargano stands tall. And then we get the quick shot of, you know, it being on the screen in Roman's locker room. He sat in his chair with the belt over his shoulder. And he's just sort of chuckling to himself. And uh, Heyman's like, what's funny, my tribal chief? He's like, Paul! Look at this kid. Look at this guy. This is my challenger. I'll smash him. No problems. No questions asked. But Gargano has now earned a championship opportunity at Roman Reigns. <laughs> then cut to Pierce. He's watching. He's like, hey, yes. Gargano. Big dub. That's great. Nice to see Gargano finally get his opportunity. And then RJ City runs. He's like, Adam, 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 Adam. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. It's like, what? who's coming? He's coming and he's he's really angry. He's like, well, who? He's like, piss. And then comes Robert, Bobby Roode. And Piss is like, really? Robert, this, this is the guy you were scared of? He's like, piss. What's going on with Dolph Ziggler? And Piss is like, well, he ended the, the, we, the month as 24-7 champion. So he's earned himself a shot at the United States Championship tonight. And Pop Roode's like, no, he doesn't work here. I fired him at SummerSlam. He doesn't get to just come in here and earn a championship opportunity. And Pierce is like, well, those are the rules and Ziggler won, so I'm aware he's not technically under contract to, to, to SmackDown or to WWE, but I, I'm not going to invalidate my rules. So he will face Drew Gulak tonight. And Gulak walks, he's like, Pierce, it's not a problem. Ziggler, he'll be a fine opponent. I don't care if you signed him or not. I'll put my title on the line against anybody. And Rude's like, well, isn't that just adorable? But Ziggler's not allowed to be here. What if he wins? Then what? Your championship is then left in limbo, Piss. And Piss is like, well, we'll have to deal with that if it happens. But I've got faith that Gulak will win and keep the championship on this brand. And he's like, you've got your faith in this, this guy? Come on. I think, for the interest of fairness... Ziggler should not be going one-on-one -on -one with the champion tonight. And if you want Ziggler to get a championship match, you need to have somebody in the match that's going to make sure that he can't leave as the champion. Put me in there as well. And Pierce is like, You're awfully demanding, Bobby. And Drew's like, No, 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 listen. If it'll shut him up, I'll beat him as well. So, the US championship match that Ziggler ran is now a triple threat. Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, and Drew Gulak to determine the next United States Champion tonight. Then we get to Big E, and he's like, oh boy. Roman Reigns, oh. Me and him, we've got a lot of unfinished business. And make no bones about it, Roman, you may be busy with Gargano at absolute zero, but win, lose, or draw in that match, whether Johnny beats you or not, I've still got beef with you and your big muscle, big meaty man, Jacob Fatu, who think it's fine to just Screw me, but I'm feeling like in a fighting mood tonight and Roman Reigns is going to be too much of a coward to come on here and answer it. Fatu, he's going to be too much of a coward to answer it. He puts on the big scary demeanor and sure, he hasn't been pinned since he arrived here about a year and a half ago, but oh, that's only because he hasn't faced me. And then Corbin comes out. Corbin, who's no longer in Bivens Enterprises, um, him and Dakota have silently just like dragged out 
in the last couple of weeks because <laughs> they've got other stuff to do and I really want to focus on the the dynamic of Owens, AJ, Bivens and Omas as the, the group. Corbin was always just a lackey there and was just always being subbed in to spots where he could just lose despite but having the Bivens Enterprises branding on him like ruined the brand I guess because he was just losing all the time and that's what he's doing here he wants a piece of Big E and Big E is gonna go well I, don't, I can't get Fatu or Roman so I'll fight you bitch and he beats Corbin in 630 with a big ending 83 for Big E 78 for Corbin lack of psychology in a six minute match apparently Du, 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 du. Hear ye, hear ye. Please rise for the SmackDown Women's Champion. Your queen of SmackDown. Queen Sasha. Sasha comes out and she's like... She, all the fans are like mocking her because she lost. And she's like... Sh right, okay. Shut up. You're in, my, you're in my presence now. You're in the presence of royalty. We don't want any of this. Okay. So... As your queen, you must sit here and listen to me because this isn't how this is going to be. The track record for this group right now is... It's, it's dragging my name through the dirt, quite frankly. Um, I'm sure last week we outsmarted that dummy Tegan Knox and we got away. I got away with my championship. Not that I needed Mickey's help, but it's greatly appreciated. Mick, thank you. And she sort of tips the cowboy hat down like... She is, no problem, bub. But that doesn't make me forget the fact about the fact that you and India losers and couldn't get on Team SmackDown. And she's like, well, what the fuck, bro? It's like, and then I... I... I have a, I have a lot of excuses. You're not going to want to hear them because you're going to call me a fucking sore loser. But I have a lot, a lot of excuses as to why I got beat at Survivor Series. And it's not because Becky's better than me. No, 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 no. no. It's because... Because of people like Tegan Knox thinking that they're owed shots against me when they're not. Because I outsmarted her last week and she wasted her opportunity that she got by winning the Mixed Match Challenge. And that's not on me, that's on her. And then Tegan and Carly come out and she's like, Well, you're sure talk giving a lot of lip. Because you're saying here like, oh, you're not, you're, you're going to think I'm a coward. Well, hell yes I am because you're showing cowardly tendency Sasha you ducked me I beat you f five weeks ago now when Mickey was the special guest referee and that earned me the chum that should have earned me a championship opportunity winning the mixed match challenge earned me a championship opportunity but still I, I have to prove to you that I deserve one apparently and no matter what, what, how much you want to admit it I'm a threat to that title and you just are scared to put it on the line against me one on one in a fair match. And Sasha's like, well, first of all, you. And second of all, I'm not scared of you, Tegan. I'm not scared of anyone on this brand, let alone you. Like, let me get this straight. You two think you can come up in my grill and try and intimidate me? That's not how this works. As the queen and the Smackdown Women's Champion on this brand, I can tell you with uncertain fact that there's nobody on this roster that I'm scared to defend my championship against. And there's nobody on this roster that I'm scared to get in the ring with. <laughs> Out come the newest SmackDown Women's Division members, Io Shirai and Kairi Sane. And Io sort of just looks at Sasha. And she's like, I think you're a coward for not fighting Tegan. And Sasha's like, who the fuck asked, bitch? And then it ends up in an eight-woman tag team match where, again, Tegan Knox pins a member of boss. Tegan, Kyrie, Eo, and Kyrie Ray defeat the whole boss group. Tegan pins Dana Brooke with the shiny wizard. 72 from Mickey, 63 from Indy, 44 from Dana, 89 from Sasha. 82 from Kyrie, 94 from Eo, 60 from Kylie Ray, and a 66 from Tegan. Nice. Get a quick backstage segment with Kayla. 
trying to Matt Riddle. And she's, he's like, bro, did you see Survivor Series, dude? Like, that was so awesome. And SmackDown won, which means we're now the best brand here in WWE. But listen, I want to get back in the ring next week, bro. And I feel like there's a lot of guys that want to face me, dude. And Bobby Roode comes in, he snatches the microphone off Kelly's He's like, don't you talk to him, talk to me. Like, this is injustice Pierce should have lost his job last last sunday because this is just an outrage dolph ziggler doesn't work here dolph ziggler got fired he should never be back into w again i beat him at SummerSlam. why is he here kayla why who invited him what was he even doing at WWE headquarters on sunday huh well doesn't doesn't matter ziggler thinks he's outsmarted me well guess what ziggs i'm in this match and i'm going to make sure that you don't leave of the United States Championship because because you just yeah you don't Ziggler you just leave me alone Bobby Roode clearly very tense and agitated about Ziggler's presence here tonight we then get a Brom Breaker hype segment this is what he'll be doing for the next 40 days he'll be our version of Veer I guess but he will actually arrive and he's just going to get hype videos every week hyping up his arrival It'll be that one video about him saying he'd want a friend go get a dog and all that. He got an NXT. <laughs> 69, that's actually pretty good. Oh, they've got great chemistry, that's why. Um, we just had six minutes to kill, so Bianca Belair and Danny Luna go six minutes. Bianca obviously wins, but like it's just a quick showcase to see what Danny can do in there with a top gal. Get Bianca on the show, get her a win. KOD in 6, 52, 75 for Bianca, 47 for Danny. 100 rated segment. Kayla's in the ring and she's like, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to SmackDown the former WWE champion, Sami Zayn. Oh, 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 let's go. Ba, 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 ba. Sami's here. He's got... He's not got the full Sami Zayn look from real life, but he's sort of grown a little bit of a bigger beard out. He's got a little bit longer hair. Like, when he first came back, that sort of look. And he's like... Because, realistically, he wouldn't have had enough time to fully grow the Sami hair. And he's like... Well, first of all, hi, everybody. Big Pop. He's like, Kayla, listen. I need you to take some reflecting, because... Um... Losing to Roman Reigns as quickly as I did after I finally reached the top of the mountain really messed me up. I don't mind coming out here and admitting that it messed me up because it did. And I have to scratch and I have to claw my way up to the top only for it to be taken away after a month. It doesn't feel good. So I went away, I've done some soul searching, grown this big old beard, grown my hair out a little bit and... Now I'm back to try and reclaim my championship. Because Roman, he can't get away with just wiping out everybody that he doesn't that doesn't agree with him and everybody that refuses to acknowledge him. And then he's interrupted by I guess unfamiliar music. Sort of like patriotic but in an evil way. An outcome the former message, Masafar Ali, Babatunde Ayegbasi, Yujiro Kishida, and Mia Yim. And he's like, look at you, Sammy. And Sammy's like, huh? He's like, look at this. What are you groveling for exactly? What is your purpose here? And Sammy's like, well, just to come back and try and fight my way back up to the top. And Ali cuts him. He's like, well, you see, that's the issue. Sami Zayn. Hmm. <laughs> Sami Zayn. Interesting name you got there. Um, you shouldn't have to fight your way back to the top. You were at the top. You won that championship. You're the goddamn king. But here you are looking like you have fallen to the very bottom and all you did was lose one match. Could it be that... The way you look, your name, and everything about you 
doesn't fit what we call the mold here in WWE. Listen, really listen to what I'm saying here, Sammy. You went away for months to try and get back this WWE Championship. And why is that? Should you not be owed another rematch for the title after you lost it? Hell, fucking, we got a vote a month or so ago where the fans could choose who they were to wrestle for the championship. And Buddy Murphy, he sure just walked out here and said he wanted one last month. Kevin Owens literally admitted earlier on, you know Kevin, yeah, he literally came out here earlier on and just asked for a championship and he was added into a fatal four way to earn the shot. Now think about it, why is Kevin why can Kevin do that but you can't? Why can all these other people just get right back on their feet and not have to worry about falling to the wayside after they've after they've lost their world championship? Do you know who else lost their world championship? And immediately was never allowed, had to fight his way to even to see it again. In fact, still hasn't seen it again. That's me. That was Mr. Farah Lee back at the Royal Rumble. Sammy, you may not want to hear this. Well, maybe you do, but you don't know you want to hear it yet. But you and I, we're a lot alike. And guys like you would be right at home in our new America. And Sammy's like, I'm not buying what you're selling. I don't want handouts like you clearly want. I want to earn this championship opportunity back. And that is the end of that, Ali. Good luck on your quest, but leave me out of it. And Sammy leaves, and Ali just sort of watches him leave, and he's like, hmm. In an 88 rated main event, Dolph Ziggler is back. Well, he's not back. He's not. He's still not employed. And he's take. He's using his opportunity that he won the US title for for winning 24/7 Island. Drew Gulak and Rob Bobby Roode is also in here. The match goes 18:25. When bang, Dolph Ziggler drops Bobby Roode with a super kick. To score the one, two, three, and win Dolph Ziggler the United States Championship. The same Dolph Ziggler who isn't employed by WWE because he got fired back at SummerSlam and he's now the United States Champion. 78 for Gulak, 77 for Rude, 84 for Bobby, Bobby Rude did the best, okay. Interesting. Ziggler's he Ziggler gimmick gets a great. And he leaves with the United States Championship as Bobby Roode sort of watches on angrily and Gulak's in the background like, oh my god, what the fuck, Bobby, I could have beaten him but you threw yourself into this match and now I'm not the champion anymore, now this guy's got it. And Ziggler holds the US title high in the crowd to end the show. 91, that's a really good show and a lot of interesting developments on this show, I really like this show actually. Because it's actually kind of like how a real SmackDown would go. And it didn't need to feature everybody on it. Like the, the tag champions weren't on this week. I need to start booking more shows like this, honestly. Because like, yeah, I do try to squeeze everybody on. But what matters more than the 91 and 24 of the show? Do let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for episode 203, which will be Raw. See you then.